It's time for the Devil of the Details. Big Fat Preview. This week's Devil in the Detail podcast. This is your big match preview for the Rochdale game on Sunday. Joining me on the show to talk about, we've got Paul Whiteside. All right, Paul? Hey, Rob. All right, mate. Looking forward to Sunday? Yeah, I am, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It's a bit different, this, isn't it, tonight? But yeah, can't wait for Sunday, mate. Really excited for the game. And, you know, it's been a long time since October, hasn't it? So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to it, mate. Yeah, our first uh, big match preview uh, using uh, our live Skype um, camera. We've also got Dan Robinson on the, on the show as well, all right, Dan? Good evening, pal. You okay? Uh, how's your off season been, mate? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. You? Yeah, good. Good. Obviously, you know, the time's been ticking on now. We're looking forward to Rochdale on, on Sunday, you know, and seeing what uh, the situation is. Uh, the boys have been away training um, in Spain. Uh, they look in good shape, don't they, Paul, from what we've seen on pictures and stuff? Yeah, they certainly do. I keep seeing this thing about where's Justin Carney, though. He's been hiding on the pictures, I believe. It's like, where's Wally, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, where's Carney, yeah. He was hiding behind Watson on one of the pictures, wasn't he? So, uh, so yeah, I, I think they've done really well, haven't they, over there, from what I've heard. And for Justin Carney to hide behind Ian Watson, that's saying something, isn't it? Watson must have been uh, bulking up but, a bit. Well, do you know what? Yeah, I think he has. If you remember Ian Watson as a player, he, he was like sort of nine stone wet through, wasn't he? But I mean, I spoke to him on, on that, that fans day and he really, you know, he's big up, up top now. And he's He's been uh, doing the weights, I think, haven't he? Yeah, and obviously we, we, got, a, we got a video of, uh, of uh, Lee Moffat uh, telling us all about what happened in Spain and here it is now. Yeah, so Moose, uh, how was the camp? It was good, mate. Um, I think it was a real success. Um, all the boys have got come closer during the camp, put a lot of hard work in. Obviously, we've had weather like this to get on the field a lot, so it's been good. Yeah, good. good. Uh, what was probably the best bit about you say it was good? What was the best bit? Um, um, I think just the amount of quality work we've been able to do. Obviously, with the weather back in Salford, it's probably about minus four, so we're going to be on Gatlin pitch, but. We just had uh, great weather the full week. We've got about f three hours every day on the field. And like I said, then the, the longer you stay and play with your teammates, the closer you get. So it's just been good. Perfect. Uh, last one. Uh, obviously, we're going home today. Are you looking forward to getting home and getting into friendlies? Like, we've had a long pre-season. Yeah. Yeah, I am now. Uh, obviously, the playing part is the fun part. This the six week leading up to it in the pre-season, that's, that's the horrible bit. Obviously, it has to get done to get you in shape, but um, I think all the boys will agree that soon the pre-season behind you, the better. So, I can't wait to rip into hopefully Rochdale this week if we can get, get selected. Perfect, perfect. Finally, can we just get a thanks to all the organisers, Gaz Carvel, Watto, all the staff, and finally Marwan. Yeah, uh, obviously my one first and foremost, he, he, he funds the trips like this, but um, to have people like Gaz in the background, the, the players haven't wanted for anything, everything's just been there when you needed it. Uh, Gleason, obviously all the rest of the coaches have all sorted everything, Watto, everything's just been ready, so yeah, I think they've made the, the trip a, a big success. He's happy about what's happening in the training. It's a, it's a good sign, uh, Dan. You know, the boys are going to be well prepared for the game on uh, Sunday. Yeah, they certainly are. It's nice to see, you know, the full squad getting a run out. You know, we're going to get to see all the new players coming in, see how they gel, uh, seeing the old partnerships, see how, you know, if they can continue with some of the good rugby we played last season. But, you know, from, from the camp and what we said from the pictures and following the lads on Twitter and Facebook, you know, they've all seemed to think it's been a positive camp. They've all gelled together. And like, you know, Lee Mossop said, it's just getting things together now, ready in a game situation and, and getting ready for the start of the season. Yeah, the Salford squad uh, for the Rochdale game on Sunday is uh, Gareth O'Brien, Justin Carney, Junior Sal, Nia Levels, Greg Johnson, Rob Lewis, Michael Dobson, Lee Mossop, Chris Brennan, George Griffin, Ben Mert Masala, Wella Racky and Josh Jones. Uh, and on the bench, we've got Lamatazzi, Ryan Lannan, Adam Warren, Jordan Warren, Josh Wood, Chris Wellham, Jake Bibby, Mike, Matthew Wilkinson and Daniel Murray. Paul. You know, they've got a quite strong line-up there, Salford, for, for the first pre-season game. Yeah, they certainly have. It. It's not, I think it's nice to see uh, the, the youngsters getting a, a chance as well. Um, I'm particularly yeah. looking forward to seeing uh, young Brian in playing at Hooker. I think that'll be, be good. You know, Daniel Murray as well is in there. They've got a chance, these guys, to shine, haven't they? And 
you know, speaking to those two lads in, in the close season, they, they, they want, have got a point to prove, haven't they? And they want to be in that starting lineup against Wigan. So I think you're going to see, you know, a real battle from the from the, the young guys on on, on Sunday. But, uh, but yeah, strong side as well. And I think you've got to do, haven't you? Like we were saying the other day, we've got like three games now building up to the season. So you want to make sure the players are match fit for the Wigan game. And, uh, you know, we're starting off with Hornets and then building up to Halifax the week after. Yeah, what, what are you going to be looking at, Dan, in, in the game on, on Sunday? You know, what, what do we want as, as fans? Do we want to see like a big, strong performance for the full eight? minutes so is that is that what we want really yeah you, you want to start as you mean to go on really don't you i mean you look at the players that we've got that are coming in especially the youngsters as paul's mentioned you know they're going to want to go out to prove themselves and say look I'm, I'm ready to be part of this squad i'm ready to come in as and when needed and like you know i'm looking forward as paul said to see brian in at halfback you know i think he's going to be a, a really big signing for us um you know he's fantastic for york last season you know and hopefully he can kick on and like you said daniel murray you know big fella and you know he's got quite a a big presence about him and you know hopefully they can go well but I, th I think a strong performance you know it's going to be against the Roxdale side that you know we're supposed to be expected to put quite a few points past but if we can play attractive rugby and start off you know it'll get us all thinking you know maybe we could do something this year yeah I, w I want a kind of a solid performance throughout if we're going to obviously with a strong team like that you're going to hopefully put a lot of po po points on Roxdale but I want to see a consistent 80 minute performance what I don't want to see is us put 40 points and on him in the first 40 minutes, Paul, and then he's off in the second half. That's not the message. You want to send a message out, don't you, to Super League and put a big score on him early. Yeah, I think so. What you want to see is an 80-minute performance, don't you? In a performance where you don't get any injuries either. You want to get through the game and make sure we've got no injuries. But I think it'd be a stern test against Rochester. I don't think they'll lie down for us. I mean, if you look at Hornets last season, I mean, they beat to lose last season and ended up getting promoted as well, you know, and uh, they did, you know, work wonders there going up. So I think it'd be, a, be you know, tough 20 minutes early on, but, we, you know, we should have too much power and pace. But like I say, what we want is an 80-minute performance and not to ease up and, you know, no injuries and uh, jobs are good. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm looking for, Dan. And obviously, the, the snow's been and gone. And I don't think there'll be any problems for Sunday, will there, really? Oh, well, I'm hoping not, you know, because it's, it's going to be the first chance we get to see these new players. So I'm hoping, you know, things are going to be all right. Everyone can get down to the game safe. You know, we spoke about off air before, uh, me and Paul, about, you know, it's it's not about if the pitch is playable nowadays. It's about if the community surrounding areas, you know, OK for fans to travel. You know, and as long as everything seems OK, I'm, I'm sure the game will go ahead. Yeah, so good luck on Sunday, Salford. Uh, obviously, next week's podcast is the first one of 2017 and we'll be uh, reacting to that. Uh, but I've enjoyed this, this, this boys. I think it's been a good one, it, Paul? Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? You know, seeing, our, seeing your ugly mugs on, on, on there. But yeah, yeah, it's quality, mate. It's the future, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, happy days. Yeah, it's been good. Dan, enjoy this uh, quick fire uh, Big Mac preview. Yeah, it certainly has. You know, if, if it's going to make things, you know, a lot easier for the viewers now to, to watch us and to have a look at what we're doing and, you know, recognise these three ugly mugs, then we're all right. <laughs> yeah, this week's uh, video preview of the Rochdale game and... Uh, Starting next week, it's all back to the uh, the podcast. Dan, you've got your, your blogs out this week, haven't you, for the team for 2017? Yeah, I'm going to do a report on each of the uh, Super League teams, you know, the ins and outs of the players, what they're, they're, what's happening in their camps at the moment. So I'll try and get some information in uh, and try and get as much in so it interests our viewers and listeners. Yeah, so thanks for tuning in to this uh, video preview and uh, we'll see you next week after the, uh, after the Rochdale game. It's time for the Devil of the Deep Time!